How to prioritize when everything is a priority. I've heard this many, many times, and I used to say this to myself, and sometimes I still do have to catch myself because if everything is a priority, then that means nothing is a priority. But when you get the situation where you're really feeling like everything is a priority and you're not sure what to do next, I recommend these three quick steps that can help you. I use these myself periodically and I recommend these to my clients and this is highly effective. The first thing is to get your to-do list out of your head and onto paper. Even if you're using an app or you've got a methodology that's on technology, oftentimes it's easy to be out of sight, out of mind. So what I recommend doing is taking an actual sheet of paper out, maybe multiple sheets of paper, if you haven't done this in a while, and write out everything you have to do. And just that exercise often leaves a lot of stress and gives a lot of clarity because it gets it out of your head. Your brain is not meant to hold your to-do list. And research shows us that really we can't effectively hold more than three things in our brain at once without experiencing forgetfulness and stress. So get it out of your head and on to paper. The second step is to take a pen or a marker and circle the urgent. The urgent is the stuff that has to get done soon. It's the stuff that has a sound, a notification, something on your calendar that pops up that you're going to be reminded that you need to do. And you may find yourself circling a lot of those. And that's oftentimes where people get stuck because they see their whole to-do list as a bunch of circles that are urgent. However, the third step is where the magic happens. It's where you look at those and you decide on what the important happens to be, okay? And Stephen Covey, President Dwight Eisenhower, many of these leaders have written a lot about the difference between the urgent and the important. The important is the stuff that really needs to get done strategically and often requires some quiet time. But usually what happens is the urgent is seldom important and the important is seldom urgent. So look at your circles of the urgent and then make the distinction on what's truly important. Double circle those. And that, my friends, is how you're going to whittle your list down into the next steps that you need to take. Because first, what you need to do is address the urgent and important. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to take those exercises or those activities on your to-do list that are important, but not urgent, and you want to schedule them out in the future. And that will help you get clarity on your priorities and know what to do next.